Welcome, halflings, to a, a journey into the abyss, um, a descent into the shadows that cling to the soul. We're talking about Raven, naturally. Uh, you think being half-demon is a walk in the park? Think again. Today, we'll relive some of her darkest moments from the Teen Titans animated series. Brace yourselves, because things are about to get complicated. Get ready to explore the depths of her struggle, the weight of her destiny, and the strength it takes to face your demons, literally. Picture this, you're born with unimaginable power, but it comes with a catch. It's inherited from an interdimensional demon lord who also happens to be your dear old dad. That's Raven's reality. Trigon's influence looms over her like a never-ending eclipse. Every time she taps into her power, it's a constant reminder of the darkness that resides within her. She fights to maintain control, but Trigon's presence whispers in the back of her mind, tempting her to succumb to her demonic heritage. It's a battle between good and evil, light and shadow, played out in the depths of her soul. Talk about a serious case of daddy issues, right? Uh, uh, imagine knowing your destiny, but it's not to save the world, it's to destroy it. That's the weight Raven carries. The prophecy is clear. She's destined to become the portal for Trigon's arrival on Earth. Uh, every nightmare, every fear she suppresses stems from this terrifying truth. It's a ticking time bomb, and she's the only one who can prevent it from exploding. But at what cost? Can she defy fate, or will she be forced to fulfill her dark destiny? This knowledge haunts her every, every move, pushing her to distance herself from others to protect them from the storm uh, brewing within her. Trigon's influence wasn't just psychological, it was woven into to Raven's very being like an inescapable shadow that loomed over her every thought and action. Uh, spent years pushing back the darkness, a constant battle that tested her strength, resolve, Fighting with everything she had to resist her destiny, she became a warrior against her own fate. But fate, it seemed, had other plans, plans that were far beyond her control. In the end, part one, that fragile control finally shattered like a dam breaking under immense pressure. Remember how she always struggled with her emotions, the constant tug of war between light and dark? This time it was different. It was more intense, more consuming. It wasn't just, just anger or sadness, emotions she had learned to manage over the years. It was like pure raw power surging through her, an uncontrollable force that threatened to overwhelm her, warping her, twisting her into, into something, or also something unrecognizable. Her skin turned a chilling shade of gray, a stark contrast to her usual appearance. Her eyes glowed with an eerie white light, a haunting reminder of the power within her and those four demonic eyes. They were everywhere, a terrifying reminder of the evil she harbored, a constant, inescapable presence that signified the darkness within. It was like watching a flower bloom in reverse, beautiful in a terrifying, heartbreaking way. Now, this wasn't Raven anymore. This was a new entity, a vessel for something far more sinister. This was the portal, the gateway for Trigon's return. And the worst part, deep down, I think a part of her welcomed it like he, she, he finally uh, given in to the inevitable. She was surrendering to a, a, a fate she had fought so hard to avoid. It was truly one of the most disturbing moments in the entire series. A turning point that left viewers in shock and awe. As, as Raven's physical, physical form became the portal, Trigon's presence began to seep into our world. It was a moment that felt like the very fabric of reality was being torn apart a gateway to pure malevolence opening up. The sky itself seemed to weep, turning a sickly shade of green as storm clouds gathered. It was as if nature itself was recoiling in, in horror, the atmosphere thick with an unnatural foreboding energy. Buildings crumbled, the earth trembled, and a sense of dread so thick you could choke on it and fill the air. The cityscape once vibrant and full of life now lay in ruins a testament to the overwhelming power of trigon's influence it was like all the hope all the light in the world was being snuffed out replaced replaced by trigon's oppressive 
darkness. The very essence of despair seemed to permeate every corner, every shadow, leaving no room for solace or escape. And standing at the center of it all, or rather floating above it all, was Raven. She uh, was the eye of this apocalyptic storm, the focal point of all this chaos and destruction, except it wasn't really her anymore, was it? Her eyes, once filled with termination and resolve now glowed with uh, an eerie other otherworldly light it was like her body was just a shell a vessel for something far more sinister the raven we knew was gone replaced by uh, a dark force that seemed to revel in the chaos it was causing even the animators went all out for this scene the level of detail the intensity of the animation it all contributed to the overwhelming sense of dread and despair you could practically feel the despair radiating off the screen. Every frame, every shadow, every flicker of light was meticulously crafted to convey the sheer hopelessness of the situation. The way Trigon just emerged from the portal, uh, towering over everything and everyone, his eyes burning with uh, cold, uh, calculated evil. Uh, it was a sight that sent shivers down your spine. Let's just say it left a, a lasting impression. This was a moment that would be etched into the memories of fans forever, a defining scene in the series. And uh, through it all, Raven, or what was left of her, just hovered there, a puppet dancing on strings, controlled by the demon who called himself her father. It was a tragic sight, seeing her reduced to this state. It was enough to make you want to look away, but you just couldn't tear your eyes from the horror unfolding on screen. The sheer intensity of the scene held you captive, unable to look away from the unfolding nightmare. Raven's always been the uh, mysterious, uh, brooding type. She's the one who keeps to herself, the one who seems to carry the weight of the world on her shoulders. But this, er, this was different. This wasn't just her usual introspection or her need for solitude. This was isolation born of fear, of a terrible secret she felt she had to bear alone, a secret that gnawed at her soul, making her retreat further into the shadows. She knew the danger Trigon posed, the hold he had over her, and she was determined to protect her friends, even if it meant pushing them away. She couldn't risk them getting hurt because of her, Think about it. She shut herself off, built walls around her heart, all to keep them at arm's length, to keep them safe from the darkness that threatened to consume her. It was a sacrifice she was willing to make. Every smile felt forced, every laugh strained, every moment of camaraderie tainted by the knowledge that it could all be ripped away in an instant. She was always on edge, always waiting for, for the other shoe to drop. It was like watching her disappear piece by piece, her vibrant spirit fading into the shadows. The raven they knew was slipping away, replaced by uh, someone consumed by fear and responsibility. The others they tried to understand, to reach out, but how do you comfort someone who's battling a demon from another dimension, a demon they're literally connected to? It was a struggle beyond their comprehension. Raven's isolation was a constant reminder of the danger they were all in, the heavy burden she carried. It was a silent cry for help, one that echoed through the halls of, of the tower. It was a testament to, us, uh, to her love for her friends that she was willing to endure such loneliness, even if it meant uh, breaking her own heart in the process. She bore the weight of the world on her shoulders, all for the sake of those she cared about. The world was crumbling, everything had gone wrong, and there I was staring into the face of my own personal nightmare, Trigon, my father, the one being I, I'd feared my entire life, the one I'd sworn to defeat, was now standing before me, a monument to destruction and despair, but this time, I couldn't run this time, I had to fight, my powers were nearly gone, drained by his evil, but I clung to the last shred of hope, the belief that I could still save my friends, my world, even if it meant facing my greatest fear, even if it meant facing my father, even as he taunted me trying to break my spirit, I held on to the love for my friends, the one thing he could never understand. That love was my strength my shield against his darkness. It was the only weapon I had left.
He never expected me to fight back. He underestimated me just like everyone else always had, but I knew what I had to do. And the prophecy had shown me the way the world was, uh, was fading, consumed by Trigon's darkness. But as his power surged around me, I felt a glimmer of hope. I could use his own energy against him, channel it, become the conduit for his destruction. It was a long shot, a desperate gamble. But as I felt my own life force draining away, I knew it was the only way to save my friends, to save the world. Uh, I had to sacrifice myself. This was my destiny, the reason I was born. And in that moment, as I felt my connection to Trigon severing, I embraced it. I embraced the light. There was darkness and endless void filled with silence and emptiness. And then a spark, a warmth that spread through me, chasing away the shadows. I was alive when I opened my eyes. The world was awash in brilliant white. Gone was the fire and brimstone of Trigon's reign. Replaced by a sense of peace I'd never known before. The air was clean, the sky a vibrant blue. I had been reborn, cleansed by the power of my own sacrifice. My connection to Trigon was severed, his darkness vanquished, and I was free, truly free. But even in victory, there was a part of me that mourned. The cost of freedom had been high. I had lost my powers, my connection to my demonic heritage. But in their place, I discovered something far greater, the strength of my own humanity. Losing control of your power is, is scary for anyone, but for Raven, it's a fate worse than death. It's a uh, direct connection to her demonic heritage, bubbling to the surface. Remember that time against Dr. Light? She was so close to ending it, unleashing her full power. But the thought of becoming her father, of hurting her friends, it weakened her, left her completely drained. And that's the thing about Raven's powers. They're fueled by emotion, but her emotions are a double-edged sword. Fear, anger, doubt, they can all manifest and disrupt her control. She knows the, the potential for destruction that lies within her. And every time she loses control, it, you know, it reinforces her deepest fear, becoming a monster like Trigon. Raven's stoic facade crumbles when, when pushed to her limit. Remember Nevermore, it's like watching a pressure cooker explode, all her bottled up emotions, the weight of Trigon's influence, the fear of hurting her friends, it all comes pouring out. She uh, treats into her mind, creating a twisted world, reflecting her inner turmoil. Each manifestation of her emotions, happy Raven, brave Raven, they're all parts of her, but warped and exaggerated by her pain. And then there's the terrifying transformation into her demonic self. It's a stark reminder of the darkness that lurks within her, threatening to consume her. These breakdowns are a testament to the constant battle raging inside her, a struggle for control, for acceptance for a glimmer of hope that she can overcome her dark destiny. From Trigon's influence to her selfless sacrifices, we've journeyed through some of Raven's darkest moments, but through it all, she never gave up. She fought against her demons, both internal and external, with unwavering strength and in resilience. Raven's story is a powerful reminder that even in the face of overwhelming darkness, there's always hope. Her unwavering spirit, her loyalty to her friends, and her determination to forge her own path serve as a beacon of light. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Raven's most harrowing moments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into your favorite characters. Until next time, stay strong, stay true to yourselves, and never let the shadows consume you.